Do you struggle for power when singing? Well, I'm going to explain what's going wrong when that happens. But to give you a good visual, I've come to the most powerful place on earth. Potentially the most powerful place on earth, I should say. But just like a singer trying to force things the wrong way, this city has had its share of epic power struggles. Those of you that are familiar with my videos, you know I'm gonna march right down Analogy Avenue with this thing. Well, actually, this is Pennsylvania Avenue. But my point is that what makes a voice powerful and a government powerful are exactly the same principles. The first principle is conviction. Your voice will become much more powerful if you believe in what you're singing or saying. Change gonna come. In that character, I have a dream. Not what your country can do for you. Four score and seven years ago. The second principle is freedom, both physical and psychological. Don't underestimate the psychological freedom. It's important to be free of criticism, both from yourself and from others that could be not understanding that you're a work in progress. So find a private place to practice. And the physical side of freedom is simple. The bigger the room, the bigger the sound. The same principle applies to inside your throat. 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 And the third principle is alignment. But to better understand that, we should go inside. Now it's with this third principle, alignment, where the analogy between government and voice gets really strong. You see, both the government here in the U.S. and every acoustic instrument have three components that have to work together. Here in the United States, the three components of government are the executive branch, that's our president, the legislative branch, that's the House and the Senate, and our judicial branch, that's the Supreme Court. Now with singing, the three components are an actuator, and that's something to trigger the sound. For us, that means the air pressure coming up. Vibrators, something to produce the sound, that would be our vocal folds inside the larynx. And resonators, and that's something to enhance the sound. And that would be our windpipe, the pharynx up above, the oral cavity, and the nasal cavity. And you know what? Any acoustic instrument has those same three components. On a guitar, the actuator is the pick, or fingers, the strings are the vibrator, and the box of the guitar is the resonator, that open airspace inside is vital. And what's important when playing or singing is that you find an alignment, an agreement between those three cavities. Don't choke the resonator, don't choke the vibrator, and strum only with the power that the strings can handle, which means only send up a proportionate amount of air pressure so you don't overburden your vocal folds and thereby shut down your vibrator and resonator. That's why the freedom principle is so important. And you know what? Just like us musicians, politicians get just as frustrated when things break down and there's disagreement. Damn Bill the Carter! All the damn time! Come out here in the last Try to figure out how to vote for my people! In that chair. You Pardon? That you just be quiet. Well, You why? be quiet. You don't own me. I, I don't pay your own salary. You, I can tell you right For time. multiple members that could yield you time, I would ask that you... I will have you physically removed from this meeting if you don't stop. Ha! <laughs> and they say singers are temperamental people. Hey, listen, don't think for a second this is just an exclusive American thing. A disagreement or a misalignment in a government body or in a singer can cause havoc around the world. And, and uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker, if he, if he, if he will not, if order, order, please 
please can we calm the debate? This is an important debate. And we don't need shouting across the chamber in that fashion. Order! Do you understand? <laughs> so now I hope you understand that push and passion without order is complete chaos. So don't be like those frustrated politicians. Practice with these basic principles in mind. Know that establishing a great relationship within your house will utilize power far better than fighting and force. Know that freedom, both emotionally being uninhibited and freedom inside, physical freedom, will enhance power. And know that singing with conviction, songs you love with lyrics that move you, will also enhance your power. Come on, there's a big old world out there that needs changing, and quite frankly, I think us singers are better equipped to do so than politicians. I'm Mark Baxter for voicelesson.com.